everyone, welcome to another weave pull training lesson. In this video, we'll be looking at the two by two method, which is a really popular weave pull foundations method. Whether this is your first time teaching weave poles or you've already started poles, but you feel like there are some holes in your dog's skills and you need to come back to it, this is a great way to do that. In this lesson, you'll learn the first steps of the two by two method, which is how to get your dog to enter the poles no matter what position you're in and how to teach them to do that with enthusiasm and that it will be really rewarding. You're going to need a couple of garden stakes or driveway markers, PVC pipes to put over those stakes or markers so they really look like weave poles, and you wanna place them at 24 inches apart. And also don't forget your dog's favorite rewards. Dogs need to enter the weave poles always with their left shoulder next to the first pole. So that's the first thing we're going to teach them. So as you can see here, I'm standing in a way where my right foot is close to the second pole so that I create a path for the dog to enter. And then I'm gonna start him in a sit stay or you can have someone hold him so that when you say your release word, that he's very easily going to go through that little uh, pathway that you've created. And then the instant that you see that he's in between the poles, right when his head is between the two, that's when you're gonna throw your reward and you wanna throw it so that it will land where um, the exit path is. So eventually there will be future weave poles there and you want to drop that reward where your dog will want will go next essentially. And here you can see a little diagram um, of how that would look with two poles and with your dog. Now on the next step, I'm gonna stand slightly more off the poles than I was before, just so I can start to add some independence with that. And so you'll start to see that happening here that gradually I'm not quite as close, but each time start your dog in a stay, say your release word, make sure you're looking at your dog. Um, and start, as he gets the hang of it, you can start to back off the poles more and more. Remember to praise and always be excited. Handler attitude is everything when you're teaching weave poles. So the more that you're happy about this and think it's super cool, the more your dog will think the same thing and want to do this um, and love to do it. And now we're gonna move on to the other side of the poles because right from the beginning, we need to teach that as well. So for this, you're gonna stand slightly ahead to make it easier for the dog to enter the poles correctly and then drop that reward in the same place that you were before. This is what we call offside entry because the handler's on the opposite side of the poles. So we're gonna set ourselves up to just make it easier for the dog by being a bit ahead there. And again, look at your dog, watch them to see that maybe they're looking towards the poles a little bit and then say your release word. As soon as their head is between the first two poles, you can drop the reward on the exit line again. And here you can see that in this diagram as well, kind of the same positioning that I showed you. And then from there, we're gonna practice it a little bit more, remembering to praise a lot, keep dropping the reward there, be really happy about it, make sure the dog thinks it's really fun. And then when you see that your dog has the hang of it on both sides, then we'll start to vary it up. So sometimes you're on the on side, the same side that we started on, and sometimes you're positioned on the off side so that your dog really learns to make the correct entry no matter which side you're on. Then we're gonna vary it from position to position as if it was a clock. So you can see that in this diagram here, like the weave poles are the center of the clock and then each of these positions is sort of a number around the clock. Um, so for the handler. So you're gonna stand in various positions around the clock and make sure that your dog can make a weave pull entry no matter where you are, a little bit ahead, a bit behind, 12 o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, all those different positions so he can go in no matter what. Um, so this will help you teach your dog that very first important skill of how to enter weave pulls and how to exit. And we'll build some enthusiasm for this and we'll really fill in some gaps if you've been training weave pulls already and feel like, um, for example, if you have to stay very close to the weave pulls, this will help change that. Or if you have to really help with entries, this will help change that too. So you can come back to this lesson at any time. And if you're starting from the beginning, your dog will have an excellent start in their weave pull training. Here are a few more tips to help you. First, let your dog offer the behavior. Rather than trying to help your dog go through the poles, let him think about it and figure out what the answer is on his own because it really makes the performance much stronger overall. Save the weave pull verbal cue for when your dog is doing at least six poles. And remember, timing of your reward and your praise are really, really important. 